Hi, my name is Jesus Ramirez from Singularity Engineering. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to set up sources inside ANSYS Fluent. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot. The geometry I'm going to use is a very simple channel flow. The model is two-dimensional. It has a velocity inlet, a pressure outlet, not slip boundary condition uh, at the walls. The geometry was divided into zones. The zone 1 is a fluid zone, the zone 2 is also a fluid zone. Here there is a, a anterior boundary. Then I, I enabled the shared topology options. And the reasons to have two zones is because the zone 2 is going to be used as the zones where the sources are going to be prescribed then that's the reason for using this zone too, okay? Then here, I'm going to show you two, two different samples. The first ones, I'm going to, to set up uh, energy source here. Then I will have flow entering into a low temperature. Here, the, there will be a, a source of energy. Then the temperature of the fluid will increase and at the outlet, the temperature will be higher than the one of the of the temperature at the inlet. In the second sample, I, I will prescribe a source of oxygen. Then here I will have air entering without just just air. Then I will have the air moving to, to the through the channel. Then here the oxygen is going to to exit the zone two, the source. And we will have a mixture of air and oxygen here that we can see by the max fractions. Okay, let's see the case one, where the energy source is going to be prescribed. Well, here I have the geometry. I already did the mesh. Then we are going to, to define the boundary conditions. Then. I will going to enable the energy equation with it, that's on. The viscous model is the SST K omega. Okay. Then the material we have air as the as the fluid, and we have the two cell zones. Uh, the first one is air, and that's it. And the second one is air, but I enable the source terms option. I check. Then when I check this, you can see that this tab uh, is enabled. Then I come here. Then we have the different options to, to prescribe the sources. In this case, I want to prescribe uh, an energy source. Then that's the reason. I have the number of energy sources as one, and I have a value of 2000. It is important to see that this value of energy generation is in watts by volume. Then a simple calculus must be done to, to know how much uh, or which is the value you have to use here in order to have the, the amount of energy you want to introduce in, uh, from, your, from your source of Yes, then that's it. Remember, you only have to check here the source terms. Then this tab is enabled. You come and see which is the kind of source you want to you want to use. In this case, it's energy. And click Edit. Put the number of energy sources as one, or depending of the number of sources you 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 want to use. In this case, uh, this is the the number. Okay, the number that that you 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 are prescribing to to have value of the energy source, then this is in watts by uh, units of volume. Then you have to do a simple calculation just to know which which is this value. Okay, then you click OK. You can go out. Then you prescribe your your boundary conditions. 
you'll see that in this at this moment I'm going to use a very very low value of velocity just to see the effect of the energy source on the temperature I am entering there are 300 kelvins okay the outlet is a pressure outlet uh, zero gauche uh, zero pascal gauche pressure okay and the seat I'm going to use the, the couple method with a pseudo transient approximation approach. Then I'm going to initialize and finally I'm going to run the simulation. Okay, the sim the sim okay the simulation has end and I can see a contour of temperature okay and I can see here how the temperature changed due to the to the energy source that is here and you can see how the temperature increase uh, when the flow passed through to this energy source okay uh, this is the sample for prescribing uh, an energy source now I'm going to explain to you how to to set up a mass source okay thank you very much uh, and I'm going to change to, to the second case right now okay uh, I'm going to show you now how to, to do the process to set up uh, a mass source uh, I'm going to use the, the same geometry but I am going to change the, the source I am not going to use any more the energy source and I'm going to change that for a mass source okay I have already uh, uploaded the, the mesh is the, the same case or geometry from the last case here I'm going to use the energy equation on the species transport model on and the same viscous model okay in the species transport I am going to use a mixture of air and oxygen okay that's this is a, these are the, the materials I'm going to use okay then I have to define the, the mass source in this case in the same zone the zone 2 I have checked the zone terms box this tab is enabled then look that I have not anymore the, the energy source but I have enabled the mass source of O2 okay then I have one and this is the value I'm going to introduce in the domain okay this two kilograms per meter cubic meter per second okay then this is a bit similar to the last case but the only difference is that it is not an energy, energy source but a mass source of oxygen okay now I'm going to define the boundary conditions then I have the same velocity uh, this temperature is not important because we are not going to to model heat transfer processes okay we have uh, a max fraction of zero for the oxygen at the inlet then only air is entering through the domain and that's it and uh, the other option are, are by default the method is the same okay and I'm going to run it then I calculate it okay and once you I'm going to initialize again to see the whole the whole pre process okay then I'm going to do a, an hybrid I calculate and that's it. You see now that here enter. I'm going to, to show the, the contour of mass fraction of oxygen. Then you can see that at the inlet there is no oxygen, and after the the sun with the mass source of oxygen, the mass fraction augment.
then it is important to see the fact and it's very nice to the use of these services well uh, I think the, the message is clear and it's very simple how to use and how to define the, the, the sources in, in Fluent well, it was a pleasure for me to be with you in this video. If you have any doubt or any concern, please let us a comment. Also, you can visit our website or you can call to our phone. Remember, this was Jesus Ramirez from Singularity Engineering. We are here for help you. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.